so whenever you you are interested in any of the ad then only you click on it 99% of the time 99.99% of the time you see a lot of ads uh, which uh, which uh, a digital marketing thing is of your interest area but a lot of times it is not of your interest area you don't click on it uh, and you move ahead but those who are interested uh, will click on it and move to the website those people who are clicking on it are interested if they are interested that mean in itself they are the potential customer and when we say they are the potential customers uh, the answer is with you i hope you got it how why we are saying it is uh, potential customers it's clear to everyone tanya says one quickly say one or two if i need to give more examples i can give it to you okay. i hope everyone have understood uh, so uh my next uh, slide would be uh, next next slide would be controversial to what i said but i will explain you uh, more in detail now before i go ahead on the third process uh, there are two things uh, which we have to look is uh, the uh, which type of traffic uh, there are two ways to bring the targeted traffic one is inbound uh, form of marketing another is outbound form of marketing inbound form of marketing is primarily when you try to the uh, target market try to reach you when your potential customer is trying to reach you that is inbound form of marketing second is outbound form of marketing where uh, you are when you are trying to reach to your potential customer so there are two form of marketing inbound is when your target marketing uh, your clients are trying to reach you second is when you are trying to reach to your clients uh i hope it's clear what is inbound and outbound i will give the example uh, after it if you understood the statement so please give examples of inbound and outbound marketing sure okay uh so instead of i give you an example even let let's you guys judge it and then i will explain it to you uh if people go on google search and uh, they are doing search and you are running ads on it is it a form of inbound marketing or outbound form of marketing put a guess uh, rajiv says inbound inbound okay teddy bits inbound what about others inbound outbound inbound Ad inbound uh, sushmita says inbound okay aditya says inbound shiva chaitanya all inbound all of you are correct uh, yes it is an inbound form of marketing because customer is searching it for you customer is trying to reach you not you are trying to reach uh, the audience uh, what is this example the ad you see on your screen is it inbound or outbound outbound okay so shmita and jaydeep says outbound tanya rajiv says outbound okay aditya uh, uh, everyone says outbound very correct because they are trying to reach they are trying to say their message and uh, it is an outbound form of marketing i hope it's clear to everyone now what is inbound and outbound so let's move uh, to the third element of the digital marketing process that is engagement 
so before i go ahead uh, to explain you what is engagement why it is required it's critically important to understand according to a research and study it says that 95% of the people who visit your website are not interested in buying your product and service at that given point okay so 95% approximately your audience uh, who is visiting your website is not interested in buying your product or service at that given point of time only 5% of the audience is either looking to buy or they are weighing options means they are com- uh, they are comparing you with uh, your competitors others only 5% so that is a big loophole in digital marketing that happens and a lot of people are not able to uh, overcome it and occur a huge loss in digital marketing because if you have made a website uh, that is for customers who are just looking for that product uh, or service they will look at it and they will compare and buy it. so if you have even uh, 20% of conversion rate of these people coming to your website that means uh, out of five people only one person will convert uh, if you consider as a 20% conversion rate uh, of these 5% and overall it will be just 1% of conversion rate okay if uh, a user who is coming on your website and out of these uh, five uh, one is converting okay and you are you uh, losing 99 votes but in case you have if you can do something for these 95% people they might not be interested in buying your product and service right now but they might buy in future like i give you an example we use uh, we used to use zomato we used to use uber uh, we are so habitual of using online grocery every every single thing we have started ordering online we are got into the habit of it initially zomato was giving a uh, 70% discount then they come to 60 50 40 30% percent discount and now very soon there will be no discount on it now you are habitual they have engaged with you over a period of time although through an offer or through anything you can engage with your audience when you engage those people who are not looking even to buy they might ending up buying or they might do some activity with you let's suppose uh, you you are buying a dish from a restaurant which cost you 200 when you visit over there and buy it out but if the matter is giving 70% discount you are getting that dish at 60 rupees 70 rupees after adding tax and all it becomes 120 130 rupees till you are saving more than 50% on it will you go ahead and buy it yes you will that is how they planned their engagement so when you see a lot of people using it now they have entered into a loophole where they don't have an option they are so lazy to go out to a restaurant they are so lazy uh, to do other uh, doing uh, making food for them and they simply order it and now uh, earlier which they were paying 120 rupees now they are paying 190 and 200 rupees for the same dish at the same price which they get it at restaurant or now at so this is an engagement so engagement is critically very important if you capture those 95% even your conversion rate is just 5% you will convert five users uh, out of these 95 so overall your percentage of conversion would be around 5 instead of over here if uh, you are converting just one out of five it's one person. so this is how engagement plays a role most of the businesses just build their website and focused only on these five who are looking to buy and they lose a lot of traffic and that's why a lot of people say that we are not getting conversions we are just getting traffic we are not getting potential customers you are getting potential customers but you are not able to nurture it 
like how a salesperson nurture uh, in an offline store or a salesperson which keeps you calling you have seen like you have received a lot of calls you give you fill up a form on policy bazaar i am telling you it's 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 the worst thing you can do ever to yourself you will get uh, the calls from them for next 5 years every single day and from different different teams different different people why that person is trying to nurture you although that's irritating but sometimes when you are interested you interact with them and ultimately uh, one of the person convinced you and to buy some product so that selling skill should be there on your website it's not just uh, this is my product this is the information that's all no you have to build your website you have to build engagement in your website so that if somebody who is not interested even buying the product right now maybe in future he can buy it you have the contact detail and you can nurture him or her over a period of time i hope it's clear now why engagement is required to everyone press one into the chat box if it's clear jadeep aditya rajiv uday chaitanya shiva oh i believe it's clear to everyone so now what is engagement engagement is primarily making user uh, to use your website or app uh, in a more appropriate manner he should navigate uh, in your website try to spend time to watch the product video uh, fill up a new uh, sign up for a newsletter uh, download an ebook sign up for a free webinar anything take a free trial these are all engagement okay where you are engaging you are interacting with the user it's not just one way communication you put an information he is reading and moving out it's not that when in, when a user take start taking action that becomes an engagement that becomes one to one interaction of website and the individual user for example you can take uh, see this example i see it uh, i show you a live example let's suppose i'm searching accounting software on google and what i did is uh, google is showing me two ads okay primarily so let me open both uh, the ads now you guys tell me which website has an engaging element this is quickbook first site uh, which you can see it uh, over here i'm scrolling okay okay so i have scrolled the whole website this is the second website okay it doesn't have a scrolling option as such so so tell me which website has an engaging element and what is the engaging element into the chat box or you can unmute it tell me which is the engagement element in any of these sites if you want i can say, let me send the url to you okay i am getting the responses i will take the responses one start i have okay i am sending it to everyone uh, both the links evaluate it i am giving couple of minutes to you uh, it's 11:00 to 11:10 you can get back to me and tell me what is the engaging element couple of people have replied let's see whether whether their replies are correct or not go ahead uh, open both the sites and check it out and tell me the engaging element
Okay, so I get a couple of responses. Uh, Jadeep says uh, two because of free trial. Uh, Tanya says uh, 30 days of free trial. Guys, please correct your trial spelling. I used to do that mistake. I have heard a lot of comments from a lot of people. So correct it. Uh, Rajiv says free trial for the uh, QuickBooks and uh, WhatsApp contact uh, for the flaw books. Okay. Aditya says uh, 30 days trial. Uh, Sushmita, 30 days trial. Rajiv, you are uh, login in flaw books. Sushmita says uh, uh, login using QR code. Uh, the first website that QuickBooks has a engaging element uh, that is a free trial, no doubt on it. So every one of you are correct. Second is uh, login to a QR code or login and register. There is no reason for registering it. I might be interested, but do I know the pricing of this product? No. How it works? Don't know. What are the detailed function uh, this product feature has? I don't know. I don't know a lot of things. So there is nothing engaging. Will I fill up a form? Why should I fill up a form? I have no reason to fill up. But if I'm a regular user, then uh, scanning QR code is a great engaging feature, but not right. Okay. So uh, everyone understood uh, what, uh, what uh, is the engagement is. Can somebody tell me what will be the engagement in e-commerce site? What will be the engagement in e-commerce sites? Uh, Rajiv says video. Okay. Uh, discounts mainly, you know, uh, discount coupons, flash deals. Yeah, correct. Um, Rajiv, uh, discount coupon, flash sales are uh, the engagement elements. Subscription plans. Subscription plans like Flipkart Plus. I believe you're talking about Amazon Prime. Yes. Yes. These are great uh, engagement plans. And uh, look at the best model of engagement I see is Paytm. It's tremendously engaging and you are like... Uh, Every time you think to make a cash payment, you always think, can we do it with Paytm and can we get some cash back? It's in the mindset. They have set it up that you will get a cash back. Although 90% of the times you don't get it. If you look at Google Pay, I don't know how many of you have used it, uh, but Google Pay gives you a coupon which you scratch it and you win nothing out of it. Okay, that is also a great engagement activity. So you reward every transaction. You reward every single thing you are doing with that app. That's a phenomenal uh, engagement activity. Then having wallets like Facebook introduces, or uh, sorry, Flipkart introduces points. You can collect points by doing some transaction. That is also and a great engagement activity. The biggest of them, I think, for e-commerce is uh, the one which they use is flash sales. Primarily, that works really, really well in their favors, and that attracts a lot of lot of people. Discount is undoubtedly the uh, the one which why we are on e-commerce sites. Correct answer, guys. Uh, it's uh, let's take a 15 minute break uh, till 11.30 and let's connect after it. I hope you need to require a break. At least I require it. 